You know, I think this memoir is really different from most others because it's a combination of reflection on dreadful events, really uh, some of the most destructive events of the 20th century, late 20th and early 21st centuries, including Chinese brainwashing, Hiroshima survivors, Vietnam War veterans and Nazi doctors. And it's also a personal adventure story, that, that combination. So I, I tell how I struggled with considerable confusion at first to do these studies and to take in these events. A lot of people ask me why I study these horrible events. I seem to be to them a glutton for punishment or very brave or uh, I don't know what, but I don't see it as a form of uh, courage uh, or for that matter as a glutton for punishment. What happened with me was that I did one such study of Chinese thought reform, found myself learning how to be a person who can do this kind of study and that became part of my identity, part of who I was. And then gradually, with lots of fits and starts, a capacity to carry out such studies, which had lots of problems and, and difficulties for me. I kind of grew into a person, a sense of myself, a sense of identity of someone who could go about such studies. All of these studies have direct applicability to us. It wasn't just the Chinese, but we ourselves became interested in thought reform. And similarly, the nuclear weapons issue doesn't go away. It's a primary issue for us, and we have to continue to look at Hiroshima if we're to have uh, a true vision of what those weapons can do. And the atrocity-producing situation where ordinary people can kill large numbers of civilians, as occurred in the Vietnam War, and which I wrote about, uh, that continues to haunt us in our war fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, we learn, or should learn, from what we've done and what others have done to us. But the other side of my conclusions are more hopeful. I found in my work an enormous amount of resilience. People who weathered this, uh, these extreme assaults of these extreme events came through it, survived with some insight, with what I call survivor meaning in terms of what they learned from it and avoiding that kind of behavior in the future. And I became interested in what I call the protean self or the many-sided self, which all of us have some of. And with a protean self, one can avoid dead ends and look toward new ideas, new images that move out of atrocity and into better forms of human behavior.